Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're following up from a Friday challenge video where I showed you this real interesting technique that I never knew before equals uh, sum where you can sum a range of cells across multiple tabs by putting in the first and last tabs that you want to group. So if we say December through January, because we have 12 different worksheet tabs titled December on the left, January on the right, and we're grouping everything in between those uh, for cell A2 in a sum function. So you can see we get 1950 as our value there. Now, what if I wanted to create an average across that spreadsheet? Um, average works as well, but you'll see I get 162.5. That's because it is grabbing a number of zero values for four months. We were only right now in April, so that's four different months. Um, but So my answer should be 487. 0.5, but I'm getting 162.5. So I need to do an average if statement. And unfortunately, average if does not work with this technique. So if I do greater than zero and hit enter, I get a value error. So average if doesn't, doesn't work. Wondering if the engineers forgot about this technique when they created the average if statement, not quite sure, um, but there is some different functionality there. So how can we go about doing this? Well, what we wanna do is we want to group in the old days in like Excel 2003, we didn't have the average if statement. So we used to do things like doing a sum across the range and then dividing it by um, the number of non-zero values. Now, one way to count those non-zero values is to use the frequency function. And so our, this does work with that data array uh, value of doing December through January for cell A2. And our bins array, we're gonna create, we wanna count the number of zero values, right? And so the way frequency works is it groups everything into that one and everything not into that one um, if you're just using one bin. And so we're gonna have zero uh, should be eight and the non-zero values should be four. And uh, so let's go ahead and check that out. So our zero values, we're getting a count of eight. So that is correct. Now, if we wrap this in an index function, oops, didn't do that quite right. Index function. And we do our index where we have index of the frequency, that's our range. So it's gonna give us a value of eight and a value of zero of four. So therefore we want to grab the second value of that array. Let's go ahead and see what we get there. Now we're getting four. Now if you don't understand how this works, let's go up to the formulas tab, the evaluate formulas button. And so we've got equals index frequency, December, January, for zero bins, and we want the second one of this frequency formula. So let's take a look what frequency does. See, it creates two to an array of eight, those are the number of zero values, and four, which is the number of non-zero values in that whole range, which was 12 different months. And index, we're saying grab the second number out of that array, and therefore we're getting that value of four. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off our formula. Now that we know there are four non-zero values, if I go ahead and modify my formula and do sum across that range again, December through January, the exclamation point A2 is the value that I want, and we're gonna divide that by that index formula. We should now get our values. So sum of December through January for cell A2 divided by the index of the frequency of that same range looking at the bins of zero and non-zero, and we wanna grab that second value of those. So hopefully you learned how to create a sum across multiple worksheet tabs, um, and actually, I'm sorry, an average if statement uh, to exclude zero values across a number of different worksheet tabs that you have in there. Check out the previous video so you understand a little bit more about how that other formula works and some of the nuances of it, um, but this should get you around any of your if statements that you need. Count if, um, average if, those sorts of things. This is one easy way to do it. Thanks again, this is Steve Equals True. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox and head on over to excel-dashboardtemplates.com where you can download lots of sample files and see other great posts related to Excel. Thank you.